Good evening and welcome to Capstone Seminar for CIS 205, the TNI class. This evening we will be discussing some of the the guidance and guidelines around your capstone project. So the first thing we need to talk about is what is a capstone? Well, part of this course you're going to be getting some certifications and certifications are basic proof that you know what you know. Uh, what a lot of employers really like to see though is solid proof that you can put your knowledge to work and that is where a capstone project comes into play. Uh, this course you can earn your CompTIA A+, which is, which is achieved by taking the certification test 220-801 and 220-802, and you can also earn your Network Plus certification, which is the N10-05. On this slide, you can see basically what the exam objectives are. But that really doesn't tell you much. Um, a, a better guidance is when you look at CompTIA's website, and you can see that their objectives are that you would know a PC hardware, basic networking, uh, laptops, printers, operational procedures, operating systems, basic security, the basic of mobile devices and troubleshooting. And then of course there is those areas that are covered under the Network Plus exam which concern networking concepts, uh, network installation and configuration, network media and topologies, network management, and network security. So now that you know these things, what are you going to do with them? And that is what the capstone is all about. The process for the capstone, at least as it is currently configured, is that you need to submit your proposal to your student mentor and your certificate mentor. That's me, Brian Farrell, your certificate mentor. Your proposal will have your ideas for the project, your justification of the project, i.e. how your project shows that you know what you know. And then it should also have an expected outcome. The next portion, once you get approval of your proposal, is to perform the project work. That is to complete the project, at least to the best of your ability. And then the final step, and this is for uh, grading, or at least for getting credit for doing the capstone, is a project presentation. You can think of this as your basic defense of your project. The f and what you're going to basically do is document and or well, basically document, I'll say, your project from start to finish. Uh, and you will also uh, highlight what went right you will highlight what went wrong, and you will, for those things that went document what you did to rectify what went wrong. Now your presentation can be in video, uh, PowerPoint, and as a last resort, you can write it up as a paper. And I do say that is as a last resort. The preferred method would be a video or PowerPoint presentation. Uh, if you choose those methods, particularly with the video, it, it should be roughly about 20 minutes long from start to finish. Now, how do you go about finding your project or determining what your project's going to be? Well, that's for you to decide. Look around you. Look in your workplace. Look at those organizations that you volunteer for. See what, what IT needs there are that you can help them to solve. By the way, if you are going to be doing a project for work, you should get your employer's permission to do it first. And in that case, I may ask for a letter uh, from your employer releasing you to do the project and share your work with us. 
I can't tell you what your project project is. Uh, all I can tell you is um, you should look at these areas of competency that are covered by the certification and make sure that you cover, um, I would say at least five, if not more, of those areas of competency in your project. Be good and thorough about it. Uh, don't make it overly complicated. You can make it so complicated that you can get tied down and, and it'll drag on. We don't want that. My goal is for you to succeed at doing this and to get through it as soon as possible. Uh, speaking about that, let's talk about time guidelines. This is five credits. The capstone is worth five credits. Now, the total course is 44 credits long. So how much time is it going to take you to, to perform your capstone? Again, I can't tell you. This is competency-based learning. Uh, if you are, if you're really hands-on and gung-ho and you know your stuff, you know, it might take you a week, two weeks to perform your project. If you're not quite so up and, it's, and you're a little bit slower and methodical, you know, it might take you a month or more. I, I can't tell you how long it's going to take. That's up for, for you. Just make sure that you're thorough and that you complete the project and the presentation in a thorough enough manner that you've demonstrated that you know what you know. I will tell you that when I did my capstone project for my Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, uh, from start to finish, it took me about a week and a half. Uh, the budget for that capstone was 12 weeks, um, but I had a firm grasp on what I was doing. I knew from the time that I started that bachelor's what my capstone was going to be and was kind of working towards it all the way. So when it came time to, to doing it, it was a slam dunk. Uh, my capstone for my MBA, on the other hand, took me about three weeks, a little bit longer process, but still shorter than the 12 weeks that were budgeted for that capstone as well. That's one of the nice things about the competency-based education. It's up to you to demonstrate your knowledge and your competency. Thank you for watching this recording and good luck on your capstone.